What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of RX Bar, Quest Nutrition, P90X, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today's episode is brought to you by Rise25, which I co found with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25 creates 100% outsourced VIP special events for software companies or conference organizers. Uh, we do them all over the country and we help the company bring their highest level customers together to connect and collaborate. You can learn more, find out if your community qualifies at rise25.com and there may or may not be a video on that page where John and I show up dressed as Elvis. Uh, today's episode is also brought to you by Brand Driver. Brand Driver helps e-commerce brands grow online sales and help you to protect your brand. I did a demo and loved how the dashboard creates a visibility so you can see all your reviews and questions that you may have scattered across Amazon that you need to answer, but they're on one screen. So go to branddriver.com to find out more and you can ask for a tour also. Today, I'm very excited. We have Maddie Haslack, who is the founder of Love Grown that started in 2009. It's hard to believe probably it's uh, almost 10 years old. Love Grown has a mission to make cereals healthier, and their tagline is beans for breakfast. And just let me explain before you're like, what are you talking about? Their cereals are made with a blend of navy, lentil, and garbanzo beans with good flavors, such as chocolate and strawberry power O's. In addition to cereals for kids and adults, they also have ancient grain granola and regular granola. They can be found in thousands of stores across the U.S., such as Sprouts, Kroger, Whole Foods, Safeway, Natural Grocer, and many more. Maddie, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. So you have, you're across thousands of stores. Will they, when you come out with this new product, how will they allow you to introduce that? Yeah, so we started presenting it already and Kroger was the first to take it nationally and it just hit shelves in about 1,300 or around there, uh, 1,300 stores nationwide a month ago. So Kroger's first to carry it, but we have a number of other retailers who seem very excited about it and we'll be getting more distribution here on it as well. So be be on the lookout. I have to try this. You know, using the word buttery with it makes me want to eat it, actually. Um, what do you think it was about the presentation with Kroger? Like, you know, everyone was telling you, you know, don't expect much. They may get back to you in a couple of years. Did they get any, give you any feedback of, I mean, obviously the product is great and the company, but obviously you're presenting it in a certain fashion that makes it, you know, desirable. Did they give you feedback on why it works so well with what you did? We never got direct feedback, but I think it's twofold. First and foremost, we were in the right place at the right time. And when you look at what Kroger has done in natural foods, it's incredible. They, I mean, this was 10 years ago when they were really saying, we're going to make an investment in natural foods and we are going to focus on it. And they did it before any of the other large retailers really did. I mean, of course there's Whole Foods, but Kroger made it a point to build and grow natural foods. And we just happened to be in that same launch phase. And then the other part of it is I think um, hands down having that passion and energy and enthusiasm about what we're doing and what our, why we believe so much in our products and what um, we were introducing to the market. So I think that there's certainly a bit of that that went into it, but um, we had such strong sales going into that meeting because of the success we had had in King Supers locally in Colorado. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like it, um, it wasn't, you know, it, there was a reason for them to really look hard at the brand and the products. Many, I'm interested, I'm curious about your uh, views on e commerce versus retail. Because you've gone, I, th- I don't know, hundred. it's not 100% retail. Do you, can people buy it online anywhere? Yep. So they can buy it on Amazon, Vitacost, Lucky Vitamin. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's another one I'm probably forgetting. And I think that e-commerce is such such an amazing 
tool and it's certainly a direction that so many consumers are going to be going especially with shelf stable products and um, Amazon you know it's it's critical Am who doesn't buy anything on Amazon right. if you can introduce me to one person I mean it's amazing everyone uses Amazon to some capacity and I think that being having that ability for people to try a product and purchase it without having to search it out in a store especially with the direction it's going with social media and the power of influencers people hear about these things and they want to try it right then and there and they want to be able to buy it and so keep being able to have those options I mean by the cost is an amazing resource for all things natural and specialty it's my one of my favorite platforms to find everything from supplements to beauty products to natural foods um, and I think that it's certainly going to only become e-commerce is only going to grow um, so love grown how hard was it to get that domain? This is an amazing story. So my only request to Alex, when we were undergrads at DU, we were studying for finals in the library and we like decided to kind of push that aside and start talking about our business plan. Was like, my own finals, let's talk about it. <laughs> so much more exciting. Yeah, way more exciting. My only request to him was that love had to be in the name. And Alex is so pragmatic and so such a visionary and was like, okay, we can use love, but it can't have hearts and it has to be, you know, general neutral, gender neutral. We need to make it appeal to the masses. So we came up with a list of 30 different names. And when we said love grown, it just stuck. And at that time, this is back in 2008, Alex reached out to who at the time owned lovegrown.com. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it'd be an easy domain to get because it's two words that are easy to spell that, right. yeah. And I think it might've been like, I don't know, $500 at the time to buy, which huh. we didn't have, we were like, we can't afford that. So we talked to the guy, didn't end up buying it. And then I think it was seven years later, we <laughs> reached back out to him. It was the same guy. And then it was like $5,000 or something crazy. I have no idea. Um, but we ended up obviously buying the domain and making that transition. But it's just amazing that it, it, we, it was very beginning that we reached out and it took us seven years to actually be able to, to buy it. And the price increase was dramatic. By 10 times. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah thanks for sharing that. Um, I always ask this inspired insider. First of all, thank you, Maddie. This is this is great. I love hearing more about Love Grown, and I'm sure uh, everyone listening has got a lot out of this. Um, I always like to ask two questions. One, um, since it's Inspired Insider, what's been a low moment? And on the flip side, what's been a proud moment? Because as you know, like the journey over 10 plus years is, it has some, you know, it's like a roller coaster sometimes. So what's been a low moment and what's been a high point for you? My gosh, there are certainly so many, both lows and highs. And um, I think about one in the distant past, which we clearly overcame, but um, when our ovens weren't working and having to pack, pack up all the car. our cars and go produce, I remember um, I totally started crying to Alex and was like, maybe we should just not do this. <laughs> totally being extreme and one of the things Alex is amazing because we're such opposites and he is so calm and collected and I'm totally collected but not calm and um, he makes decisions he's like very even keel <laughs> and so he was like it's okay we will be fine like get it together and I'm really questioning like why are we doing this why are we starting this company and um, thank goodness for him he totally helped me through like pull it together, we're going to make this happen. But I think that there's so many ups and downs and um, especially, I mean, I can name so many little ones of like you lose distribution in a customer or you, you know, find out that you're going to, your pricing increase from your supplier and your heart sinks, just knowing like you're already working off tight margins and then to have an ingredient cost increase and not be able to pass that on to your retailers and it's just those things that happen almost hourly that you're having to overcome and manage through and reset. Not for the faint of heart. Yeah, exactly. Certainly not for the faint of heart. Um, on the flip side, though, you do have so many amazing moments. And I think that hopefully those amazing moments overpower the negative ones. And that's, I think, why you keep going. Slash, I also think that 
entrepreneurs are like overly optimistic in life and that's another reason that they're crazy enough to keep going is that you just think like yes this will it will be will totally it will work um but i think the consumer side and seeing the impact we're making on people's lives and getting these messages or meeting people in person that change that totally changed my perspective on what we're doing and the reach of what we're doing to um, being on the Today Show, hands down, like totally amazing, um, to also being with our team and I think building a team and realizing like I'm not doing this alone, hands down. We have an amazing group of talented, hardworking, amazing individuals that I'm so grateful for and who work really hard and who have been a huge part of building this brand and who are a huge reason that Love Grown's available in 11,500 stores that it is. Yeah. I mean, at one point you were even approached to be acquired, right? That was a crazy experience. Talk about emotional roller coaster. Yeah, that was totally crazy. Came out of the blue. We weren't, we weren't selling the company. It um, came to us and ended up after a pretty long discussion with them, decided not to go that direction. But that came with so many ups and downs and emotional roller coaster times 10. It was crazy. And an amazing experience, I think, hands down, probably one of the best life experiences, just because there's so much that goes into getting a deal done and figuring out all the nuances be behind that. Um, really, really fascinating and amazing. What came out of that that was positive that made you, made it stronger on the, on the other side after going through that process? Because I imagine that process is pretty intense. Super intense. I think more than anything, realizing we have something really special. And the fact that someone wanted to buy the company says a lot. And it just confirms that what we're doing, we're a bit ahead of our times of even taking beans. You're starting to see beans in so many things. So it's not like beans are totally crazy and they're nothing abstract. Like when quinoa was first introduced, it was so, you know, people didn't even pronounce, know how to pronounce it. Whereas beans, people have been eating forever. But beans in a sweet type of option, not a savory option. And in something like cereal, we're still early in this. And I think that it just confirms that what we're, we're on the right path of plant-based, high protein, looking for opportunities to innovate in categories where you have everyday foods that are lacking nutritional density. And more than anything, that's what came out of that experience of like, we have something, let's make sure we build it because it's continue to build it and not sell ourselves short. Totally. Maddie, I want to be the first one to thank you so much. Um, everyone should check out lovegrown.com and check it out at any of the grocery stores near you. Thanks, Maddie. Yes, thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand right now. I'm feeling like a hundred grand.